If you had to give a definition of power, what would it be? It seems to be a very elusive concept, something that is difficult to grasp and almost impossible to give a consistent definition of. Some people, such as Foucault or Luhmann, may focus on the ability within social systems to make decisions. To make decisions based on reward and punishment, for example, and thus accumulating something akin to a symbolic power. A power that doesn't necessarily need to enforce any reward or punishment, but one that is understood to be the enforcer as such. Therefore, power builds up this sort of gravitas, this sort of pure essence that can be understood implicitly in any societal dynamic. However, this still doesn't bring us closer to an explicit understanding or definition of power. Quite contrary, once we attempt certain definitions, we quickly engage in reductionist behavior and may only end up looking at particular aspects of power, only limited perspectives or conceptions of power. How do we arrive at a more fundamental and a more holistic picture here? Arguably, Bertrand de Jouvenel helps us here when looking at historical developments and patterns throughout our human history. There seems to be a natural dynamic of power that we can observe and describe without needing to give rigid scientific definitions. One thing he specifically focuses on is the egoism of power, the attempt of the ego to grow and encapsulate more in its sphere of influence and to grow in its sphere of influence by devouring more and more aspects and integrating it into its own entity. De Juvenel says, quote, the impulse is nourished by all egoisms, great or small, noble or sordid, which, taken together, make up the egoism of power. The perspectives which open before the great man are invisible to Tom and Dick as they come and go on their daily tasks. From them he must draw, whether by permission or constraint, matters not, the means he has need of. The ruler of poor quality dreams no such exalted dreams, but he lets all the nuts in the machine go loose, and from their slackening will come the uncontested need for new levies and a further supply of public servants. At the bottom of the governmental ladder, the official, silently and imperceptibly, breeds the official and brings his cousins and dependents into the offices of state. The history of the West, from the time of Europe's fragmentation into sovereign states, shows us an almost uninterrupted advance in the growth of governmental power. The only way of failing to see it is to fix exclusive attention on the forms which power takes. A picture of pure fantasy is then formed in which monarchs appear as masters to whose exactions there are no bounds to be succeeded by representative governments whose resources are proportionate to their authority until in the end democracy succeeds and receives from a consenting people only what it chooses to give to a power which is its servant. These are imponderables, but there are also ponderables, the dimensions of armies, the weight of taxation, the number of officials, the measurable scale of these implements provides an exact index of the growth of power. Now, de Juvenel perfectly explains how power has been continuously growing in exact opposition to what we may believe about power and about how it has been divided and separated and limited through the democratic revolutions of the last centuries. However, if you look at it more closely, we can see a transition of sovereignty from a sovereignty of divinity, from a divine sovereignty, towards a sovereignty of the people, a popular sovereignty. 
once the people rule, and once it is for the people, there is no restriction in principle. There is no divine law restricting it. Even something like the constitution changes by the interpretation that the people give to it. In that sense, the restrictions on the growth of power have been limited and abolished. Whilst we assume we have divided power and limited it, it is only growing ever faster and is accelerating in its means of control. We will understand this deeper and analyze it in combination of the principles of sovereignty that Carl Schmitt spoke of in the upcoming course on the dynamics of power at Halkion Guild, where I'll be your instructor and I will see you there. Link is in the description. Sign up today.